everyone. Okay, so this is going to be the tutorial for today. Obviously, as you can see, if you couldn't tell already, it is a tiger. So this is a pretty detailed tutorial. Um, I'm not going to be talking a whole lot. Um, there is some instruction here and there, but most of it is just kind of watching and it is sped up just so you can kind of see where everything goes. Um, I mean, really, because all you do for this tutorial, I just looked at a picture of a tiger that I have here, and then I mapped out, like, kind of where I wanted everything on a face chart, just to give me a little bit of an idea. I mean, it's a pretty intricate look. It takes a little bit to do, but it is pretty cool, and there's a lot of detail in it, and it really shows. Um, but if you want to see how I did this, be sure and keep watching and we'll dive right in. Okay. So I just started out, I just used a white foundation and just based out my entire face. Um, some people can find this a little bit difficult, but I mean, honestly, I just used a Kryolan paint stick. Um, they have a TV white and they have pure white. I would use pure white or you can always use like their super color and just put it all over. I set mine with um, the Ben Nye Super White. That too is going to help set it. Um, even though it's not good to go on top of creams and powders like on top of each other afterwards, if you need more coverage, I mean you can go in and do like another layer of the white cream foundation and then powder on top just to get like a really nice good white base. For most of this video, I'm just going to like speed through it all, but you can really kind of see what I'm doing. Basically what I'm going to do to start off with is I have the white. I'm just going to go in with the orange and the yellow from Sugar Pill. And I'm just going to kind of start mapping out a general base before we go in and do all the little details. Okay, so I just got a really fast base. I mean, it doesn't have to be anything perfect because we're going to cover it all up with details. But now I'm just going to go in with just a black. This is Smoldering Eye Coal from MAC. I'm just going to go in, um, do my eyes, and this I'm going to kind of point the outer part up and the inner corner down to kind of give it like that upturned kind of feline shape that tigers have. So I'm just going to go in and do that. And yeah. Okay, so I got the black around the eyes. I'm just going to take um, like an angled liner and then just two different sizes of like pointed liner brushes. And this is where the like tedious little details come in. You add as much or as little as you would like. But I'm just going to go in with just like a really light brown at first just to map out where I want like some of the main marks to be. And then we'll go in later with like some black and really beef them up and really give it like the tiger stripes. Okay, so as you can see, it looks kind of funny. It doesn't really look like a whole lot right now. It's starting to somewhat take shape. Um, I just mapped out like some basic shapes of lines. And now what I'm going to do is just take like a brown and go in and like feather them out. Um, blend them out, just add dimension. So I'm going to do that with a brown. And then I'm also going to go in and use some black and just darken up and add some more detail to all of this. Okay, so I did just a little bit of shading with like some browns. So I'm going to go in with a black and really just kind of darken up the details. You know, a lot of this look is just a lot of shading and 
building products and it's pretty monotonous but you know the more attention to detail that you add the better so I'm just going to go in with some black now. Another tip really quick just like adding the black I'm using an angled liner brush uh, I'm not using a pointed brush because then you can really get into details but with this if you if you swipe it you can get like some jagged edges certain places and some lines which are going to more mimic like natural hair and more strokes to add a little bit more detail. So, I mean, that's why I'm using this, but if you want to use like a pointed liner brush to add detail, go for it. I'm just taking the milk uh, just on the back of my hand with a little brush and I'm just going to do like some light strokes kind of where we did some blending over here earlier just to kind of break it up a little bit you know detail 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 okay so just added some more detail and back with the white so I'm just going to take the pointed brush again with the black and down here I'm just going to kind of flick this in I'm going to use like some gray and some black um, just to add like some different colors and definition. The more colors that we can add in, the more detail we'll show and it will give it a much wider just like range of depth. So as you can see there, just making it look like little hairs flicking up. And then just the way it kind of carries in the neck doesn't have to be precise or anything. I'm just going to drag some of that black color down for some like messy strokes. Even though this is a mask, that way it's not just a black like cut off. It kind of fades into our neck a little bit. This makes it a more cohesive piece. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of darken this like little V right here. Um, just darken that up really fast. Okay, so now I'm just going to add like some black and darken those up. Uh, I'm not going to do that part because I mean we're just putting a black base over the eyeliner that we already put on there. Okay, so again, I just took black all the way around my eyes. I threw on some mascara and put some white in my waterline just to open my eyes a little bit more. Because we do have all that black around our eyes, we don't want to shrink them down into like beady little rat eyes. Because we're not doing a rat, we're doing a tiger. Uh, so just did that, I'm just going to take some white and just add it in certain places just to lighten it up. Um, specifically like on the nose, just a little bit. Just to like add some depth in certain places. Well, I guess in this case it would be highlight, not depth. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, I mean, the only other things that you could do to really like finish this off and add and really make it a better look. Um, I've got some like prosthetic things here. Mm -hmm. You know, just like that. These are hard to talk in because I didn't really mold them specifically to my teeth. I just threw them in real fast just so I could put them on for like the tutorial and like a photo. But, I mean, teeth really would elevate this look. Contacts. There's some really cool colored contacts that would look awesome. Um, yellow ones, white ones. What the hell ever. It doesn't really matter. There's some pretty decently priced contacts out there. I didn't get any just because this is just a tutorial. I'm not really going to be wearing this out anywhere. Otherwise, I would. But, you know, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I didn't really do a lot of talking, but there will be some more and more instructional, detailed tutorials coming up that I'm actually working on for you guys. But all in all, I hope you enjoyed the video. And like always, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Shares are more than appreciated. 
And then all my information, social media, anything like that, the products that I use, are going to be listed down in the video description. So if you want to know anything like that, be sure and check those out. And until my next video, I will see you all then. Bye!